episode of Guilty of Treason is sponsored by Duckworth. I'm super excited about this sponsorship, guys. The other day at work, I was complaining to Kevin, like a little baby, about how cold I was, and he suggested that I go check out this company called Duckworth. They make wool clothing in Montana. Like, they, they like, grow the sheep there and stuff. It's all 100% made in the United States. It's all locally sourced. And uh, I ended up getting this Maverick shirt, and I got leggings that match for an underlayer. If you've ever worn wool before, you know that it's really nice to have a wool underlayer in the winter because if it gets wet, it, it still retains some of its heat retention properties. Cotton just gets freezing when it gets cold. And I've had wool products in the past, but they've, they've typically been kind of like, kind of itchy and bulky. I couldn't really move so well in them. When I put this stuff on, I was just amazed. And I actually reached out to Duckworth and asked if they'd be willing to sponsor the, the show because I was so impressed with it. You're not even gonna believe it's wool. It's super smooth. It's really nice. I've been wearing these, uh, the legging and the shirt, every day pretty much for the last month or so. And I, I, and I, don't, I haven't washed it that much either. I don't know why. It doesn't really even stink at all. So you should, uh, you should go sniff it for yourself. Click the link in my description and go check out their website. Like I said, this is the Maverick stuff. Go check it out. You're not gonna believe that it's wool. It's really nice for the winter. It's really nice. You know if you watch my videos, it rains all the time where I live. So just trust me on this. Go check out Duckworth and I really hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. All right, we are back to finish the big dead maple removal. Already running into problems. It's so, so soupy right here that the trailer and the truck are just sliding all over the place trying to get it backed in. It's been raining hard for weeks, so it's just a soupy mess. And uh, it's a slight hill, just sloshing around everywhere. So uh, I have four wheel drive, so I gotta get that in the rest of the way. The chip truck is just sliding all over the place. So off to a good start. Nasty soupy mess. This job is just gross. The crane got in here pretty good. It's got like 12 wheel drive or something. But now we're set up. We'll get going on this monstrosity. So this is what's left. We've just got, you know, part two. We got a couple branches right there, four branches or something. We still got a chip. And then all this, uh, all these big arms to take care of. So it should be a good day. I think we're gonna truck ride along with this. Should be pretty fun. Brian, you ready? Alright, let's go. Let's get those uh, branches. Let's get the branches taken care of. Get them all the cable all the way up. Alright, good, cable down. Brian, put just a couple hundred pounds on that. Uh, 
Ben geri. Might be too much for this one. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Dude. Ah. It's just crumbling. This tree didn't get any better since we were last here. <laughs> hoping it'd heal a little bit. Nice not having all that rain today. Up a little bit. Up a little bit. Okay, good. Hold it. do one more brush pick and then I'm gonna want my 66. All right, one more branch, Brian. Let's go cable up and then boom, right and down. There we go. That's it. That's the brush. Get out of here.
Okay, so we are all brushed out. Um, that's it for the branches. Now we're just gonna do the wood and you can see a lot of it grows at this, these funky angles and stuff. Just to make sure things don't aren't moving around all violent like, we'll still do balance picks just like we did on the, the branches. And then the vertical stuff, of course, well, we won't need to do that so much, but we'll just do the same thing. Run the slings out to the ends and to the butts. Just cut them off. I'm gonna need a bigger saw. This, uh, this, this saw has met its match. This, I think trees this big, uh, it's just not right to have an electric saw. Um, so we're gonna get a bigger saw and we're gonna start taking care of this wood. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and just lower that to the ground. Brian. So see, I, I did leave some stubs on this just because it's all the more, um, you know, usually I don't like leaving stubs when I'm doing a removal, but you see this, the, the bark wants to slide off. The wood's really slick and slippery. So leaving, um, you know, stubs and forks everywhere, it just helps the slings grab onto the wood a little bit better. You know, if I were to cut everything flush, the slings would be more likely to slide off and drop the piece. All right, Brian. Go ahead and uh, put some weight into that. And I, I, I haven't the faintest clue as to what this is going to weigh. I reckon it ought not be much though. I mean, it's super crispy. This is my West Coast saw, 661, 36 inch steel light bar, full comp, squared chain. Probably my best chainsaw that I own. Mm. Watch out, Jake. it's right here if I cut straight down uh, I'm gonna cut at an angle like this that way this is the shortest possible distance I can cut so I'll make it easiest if I rip straight down then because I'm going diagonally against the grain of the wood the cut becomes much longer and the chain saw cuts best going the grain this way so we're just gonna cut it at a little angle just like so <laughs> film myself eating a donut. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to watch you eat a donut. So, that'll be a nice way to spend my next weekend. <laughs> when I'm editing, watch you eat the donut. You should definitely make sure they have the donuts in the video. Yeah, what kind of donut was it? I guess I'll find out. You don't even need to tell me. You're gonna find out 
in the editing process. Yeah, I can't, can't wait to see. Scott got me that donut. Scott actually bought me two donuts this morning. I was gonna give you one of them, but then I remembered. Yeah, I don't want your donut. You're getting too fat. Well, this crane work's making me fat. The crane work's getting you fat, huh? I want to look good for you, Kevin. <laughs> I want you to look good for me too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be eating. I can't be eating donuts all the time like you. Okay. I don't have your metabolism. <laughs> when I'm your age, I hope I have your metabolism and I can eat whatever I want. You're younger than me. Yeah, well, when you when you grow up, maybe you will. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to get older. <laughs> when you get to my age, you'll be able to eat whatever you want. <laughs> this next one's gonna be tiny, Brian. Uh, it's gonna be really small, but it's necessary to get the the lower ones. So this one will be really. It'll be small. Don't complain about it, okay? Just take you just take what you get and just be grateful. Yep. Take that away. All right, Brian. Let's go get that one. Then boom left. Yep. My pull cord broke. There. Uh, let me if I can start it with this. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Terrible idea. No, I'm not gonna be able to get that up here. I'll just need a different saw. Dang it. I'm not wrapping a stick around it. <laughs> just, just, just give me another saw, please. <laughs> Nasty, there's raccoon poop up here. Nasty. Raccoon poop. The pull cord broke, now I need my husky. Totally lame. Uh, hope we can get this done before the rain comes. limb walk out there with my saw so I'll just stick it in there and then I'll take this off all right what was it yeah, I don't have enough sling for the bottom here so I'm gonna do a, a timber hitch should be just fine Uh, where'd the poop go? Did I step in it or did I cover? Man, I lost the poop. That's not good. Probably squished it. All right. Wow. 
Okay, hold it. Hold it. Zoom right. Okay, hold it. Okay, that's probably good. Go ahead and boom up a little bit. You know what? Yeah, just boom left. Don't even boom up. Just boom left. Brian, cable down. Okay, good. Yep. All right, Brian, go ahead and put pressure on that. We're ready to go. You ready? What's that, uh, what's that one weigh, Brian? 21, that's it? Dude, that thing would be like 5,000 pounds if it were alive. I would bet. That's crazy. So for the next one, I'd like two long ones, please. Brian, boom up a bit. We're gonna get this big fatty log and then we'll be all done with the horizontal ones. This thing's huge, dude. Okay, cable up. Tie these together. I got some spray. It's in my mouth. Wow, that was heavy. Ugh, that was juicy. Man, that thing was, uh, what'd that weigh, Brian? So that one was about 4,000 pounds. Looks like that one may have had a little bit of life in it. It's so weird. It's really hard to predict the weight on these dead trees because sometimes the pieces will be heavy, sometimes they'll Weigh nothing. I think it was pretty heavy. Look how big that branch was. <laughs> it's insane. Hey, look at that. You know? So, uh, but we're all done with all the horizontal stuff. Now we just gotta get this uh, straight up and down stuff and then we're all good to go here. Almost done. Into the home stretch. Look at, I'm at the, the end of my flip line here. This is a 15 foot flip line. I've got no more left. It's a big maple. Yeah, I got sprayed with maple juice. It splattered the camera.
It's just a fat stick now. Jake's got me working through lunch today. No, no breaks. Can't even go to the bathroom. He says it's gonna rain. Like we never had to, like we never had to work in the rain before. You're down here. It's all. I'm right next to the clouds. It's warm down here. I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned that it's also Saturday. <laughs> working on, working on the weekend. <laughs> You could probably hold a sandwich with your other hand. <laughs> I can one and GoPro, the other. <laughs> GoPro one. I think you sandwich. Can that. I got a salad today. <laughs> I'm uh -oh. sorry to say. Oh, never mind. A salad. I might have to trade lunch with somebody. Might just have to grab chunks of salad. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you bring for lunch, Jake? Please get here, Brian. Did he's, you get? He's harassing me. Did you get? Did you get a sandwich too? I've got some finger food for lunch. You got some finger food. I you got like some strawberries and stuff. Okay. You were anticipating working through lunch, huh? You were anticipating we we're gonna have to work through lunch today, huh? I have some vegetables and some hummus. That's a two-handed food. Mm -hmm. You ate that donut. You shouldn't even be hungry. You already had lunch. <laughs> I did eat a donut. <laughs> That was a good donut. <laughs> oh, you're here, Brian. Thank God. <laughs> you won't stop bullying me. <laughs> Can't hold it. Alright, cable up. Uh, it's just the stick. All right, good. Hold that. <laughs> okay, good, Brian. So let's go ahead and boom up for pressure, Brian. This one will probably be longer than 16, but YOLO. We're gonna do it right here. It's too big to chip. Yeah, it's big. So I'll take two toe straps for the next one. And I'll, I'll take the 88 before I make the cut. I don't want it yet. On this one. Okay, hold it. Okay, Brian. So I had that last one feel. Go ahead and put a couple grand on that. Boom up for a couple grand. Seems pretty stout.
Ooh. Okay. All right. Look at that. That actually used quite a bit of the bar. So this is a 50 inch bar. So when you're doing crane work, I like to have really long bars because I really hate, like it really sucks when you're using a short bar and you get halfway through and then you've got to walk to the other side and get the other side. Often what happens is you get some weird curve in the middle where they don't line up and you can end up in a really weird predicament trying to lift these pieces off, not knowing exactly where the wood is on the inside. It's way safer, way faster, way easier if you just know that your bar is long enough to pass through. This bar might be short for this next piece, um, but you know, I was using the 42 inch bar a minute ago and that would have been right at the edge here. So it's just better to just be all the way through and then you just know, you know, there's no doubt in your mind I'm through. It'll just cut right through, it'll pick up and I don't have to try to shimmy around and try to cut all that wood up. So uh, long bars are safe bars a lot of the times, often really. Um, even when it comes to kickback and stuff, you're usually more likely to cut yourself on a little bar than a long bar with some weight behind it, you know, on the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna lower my saw back down so I can sling this up without it on my hip. Okay, taking off my hip. All right, one, two, three. Alright, Brian, I'm gonna hop on the ball. Good. Yep. Good ball up. Okay, that's probably good. Okay, cool, nice. Okay, Brian, cable up. Cool. What are you good for right there, Brian? 7,400 pounds? All right, Brian, this one might be, you know, Five, six thousand pounds. Drone died. Oh, really? Dang it. What's that way, Brian? 51. Okay. Yeah, it's big. Watch out. Oh my god, oh my god, whack! Ah, oh, that kind of hurt my back. Oh yeah, that, that 88 will throw your back out. 
that felt kind of bad. Hold on, before you cable down, Brian, I'm gonna cut a couple of Humboldts in this thing. So see how smooth this is? The bark's also really loose. I don't want this stuff sloughing off, so I do the little humbolts on either side. That way the slings have something to grab because sometimes if it's smooth or if the bark's loose, you can zoop, you know, get the whole thing to come undone. So this is just a little way to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, cable down. Hold it. All right, there. Cable down. Okay, I don't want to spin these because I don't want the shackles getting lodged in that cut. So we end up with the shackles on the clean part things go into this part all right Brian it's all yours go ahead and crank that up I think what I'm gonna do is stand on the deck and cut this because I can actually reach kind of high from the deck so can you grab this Kevin yep ready yep oh Ready, Brian?
sliver on this side and then on the other side too. test. I did it. Oh no, there's one drop right there. <laughs> one drop. It's good enough, Kevin. <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> Fit in there, Jake. Try to get in there. <laughs> Make sure Jake gets stuck. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, I could go in more if I wanted, but I, I actually don't know if I'll get out. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, he's he's in. Can we count those rings? Yeah, try and count them. Man, look how big that stump is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> it goes deep. All right. <laughs>
my gosh. <laughs> Alright Kevin, how old is it? Well, I was saying that from here to where the rod is, it's 95 years old. So who knows how old it is then? Yeah, I mean this... This is probably 120-ish. Probably, if not mm -hmm. more, 120-ish. We'll call it 120 because I think that's what I guessed. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, that, that really works <laughs> out for you then. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Brian gets 2,000 or something. <laughs> it was really dense in the middle. Yeah. Well, cool, man. Well, nice job, Kevin. Thanks. That's it for the big, gigantic dead maple removal. Nice job, Brian. Nice job, Scott. Damn straight. <laughs> All right, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Look at this log deck. Look at these things. These things are huge. You thought I was done with the video. Man. What? You did good too, man. All right. Yeah. Nice. I don't know if you do that. Yeah. I, I guess, uh, uh, you know, after you say I do a good job, maybe I should say that you did a good <laughs> job or, or thank you or something like that. Yeah. But uh, sometimes I don't. Well, I'm just. I like the, the, the compliments. <laughs> well, I like the compliments. So keep yes. them coming. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves compliments. Look at this thing, huh? I know, it's oh, gigantic. Geez. There's like grass growing on this one. I wonder if or vines or I don't know what that is. Look like if it was milled, you know? Probably pretty nice. We'll probably mill it actually. That would be nice. All right, cool guys. Well, you guys have a good one. We'll see you later.